Hello and welcome. Uh, this is long overdue. I'm going to see if I can do all of them kind of quick. Uh, when I get about halfway through, I'll judge on the time if I want to make another video for this. But I do have another video coming for uh, just my snappers again. I picked up at least another 40 and found almost another 10 in my collection that I didn't notice when I was looking around again and I'm still looking for one that says I have it but I haven't spotted it and it says I bought it back in January of this year so no further ado I'm gonna try to run through these um if I got these try to remember where I picked stuff up um these were from Goodwill Chuck season one Newly sealed, still sealed actually. Let's see the plastic on there. But that's one. Uh, Roving Mars. This is a Disney release. Something I hadn't seen. Season one of Reaper. I liked this packaging. A little slip sleeve and then all that fire flame is a uh, very reflective I was happy to find that Phineas and Ferb the movie across the second dimension uh, this I picked up at um, Walmart uh, Stephen King's The Mist. I didn't have this film yet. I've been wanting to pick it up, and I actually like this slip. Um, I saw another slip afterwards. I actually like this one a lot better. There's the cover. This is a two-disc set as well. This. Yeah, I'll work on the discs. Walmart. Uh, these were from a thrift store I hit in Tampa area. Uh, a Disney uh, Studio Ghibli film, uh, Tales from Earth Sea. This is a Disney release of the Studio Ghibli. Kind of collecting both sides, the uh, Shout Factory ones and these when I find them. The complete first season of Impractical Jokers. I liked the show. Didn't love the movie. The movie, I, I thought, fell a little weak. But uh, the show's got some good stuff. I, some of my favorite stuff they do on the show is, like, in the grocery store. Um, Rosemary's Baby. Um, found this, so I picked it up. Since I haven't been able to find a Criterion release... Figure at least now I have it. The History of Rock and Roll. This was a Time Life video. And the Beatles, the first U.S. visit. And the Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. This was actually brand new when I found that at the... I think this one was at uh, Goodwill in Tampa that I one found this one. Uh, spiders, The City is Crawling, uh, 3D. Uh, Batman vs. Superman 3D. So, there's a reason for that. Madman Season 4. So, now I have Season 1 through 4 on that in Blu ray. Let's see. Atomic Blonde. IMAX Under the Sea 3D. 
lenticular cover. Flip. Swat. Prisoners with uh, Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal. Never heard of this one. Grey Gardens with Drew Barrymore and Jessica Lange on DVD. This is brand new, well, steel sealed. And this is uh, from Artisan. It's T2 in a metal case. This is a different metal case than what I got with the, um, I forgot who released the, the other one. Um, crap. Anchor, Anchor Bay? I think it was Anchor Bay that released the, uh, the other one, original steel one. This is another steel one, but it's embossed. I believe my metal one is not embossed. So that was a pretty cool pick. North Country. Pretty interesting. Mad About Town. The Dukes of Hazard, season one. Here I need at least one season, and I'd better be happier to have the first one. Disney release Eloise at the Plaza I've picked up quite a few new uh, Disney titles that I've not seen or knew about um, Miranda picked up one I'd never heard of either so that's something I'll be look, on the lookout for as well uh, Little Shop of Horrors Life on Mars, the complete series. Now, I, I like getting TV shows like this. I mean, just because it's complete and it, I don't have to worry about hunting down anymore. And I got Breaking Bad, season one. Season two. Season three. And four and season five I know that's still not all of it but that's m most of it um, I think I picked this up at Target um, a knock at the cabin I only have the slip with me right now because I let my brother uh, borrow it because they wanted to watch it so I only have the slip with me that was a very good film. And I got The Flash. I got that from the Target. I like this alternate cover. Then, where was this little group here from? Um, when Plat X2 had mentioned picking up some 4Ks at uh, Dollar General, I started hitting some Dollar Generals and found a few titles, which should be these here. Uh, found a Kino Lorber title, uh, The Great Train Robbery. It's the DVD, which I'm okay with. Moonrise Kingdom, which is Wes Anderson. Keanu Reeves, Replicas. Then the 4K that I found, let me see, I think, did I only find, I only found one 4K. I, I think I had the other one that he had shown, uh, but the Hurricane Heist is the one that I picked up that I didn't have out of the two that he showed, I believe he showed two. And this one here I picked up is uh, Ruby Volume 1, which I needed as a, a single release because I had, uh, I think, two through five, I think. Or six, which we picked up through uh, the Dollar Trees, and then I have the Steel Book of one through three, 
that I had gotten from Hamilton Book. And this one I got as well. This is the last one I got at uh, Dollar General. And it's musicals, four movie collection, The Bandwagon, Calamity Jane, Kiss Me Kate, Singing in the Rain. A J card. Nice uh, packaging on that. It was the, uh, got some poster cards or something in there. I forgot. And that's the uh, book style, so they're all slid in. Pretty nice little set there. I think I paid. I think it was about 10 for this. So it wasn't really a bad price. The four movies, all on Blu-ray. And a very nice box. Uh, then from the Disney Movie Rewards, uh, redeem my points for the 4K of Death and Nile. Um... So trying to remember where some of this stuff was bought. This must have been another thrift store. Uh, Jim Varney's Wackiest Adventures, Volume 2. Uh, Ernest Goes to School, Ernest Goes to Africa, Slam Dunk Ernest, and Hey Vern, It's My Family Album. That was what was on that one. Uh, V.I. Warskowski. else did not have this is 40 I'm going to be going on vacation uh, come Thursday and I'll be gone for like 18 days for vacation so I'll be trying to reorganize and trying to get all my uh, rest of my stuff done uh, this was the, this was it was Target or Walmart, but uh, the Justice League War World. Nice slip on there. Trying to make sure I get them all because they've got the, I believe it's going to say DC Universe once it's complete. And got the Steelbook from Walmart for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I like peeling the stickers off and putting them on that plastic case that I have. Keep it a little bit more original. This is a real nice uh, steel book. Back of the J card. Uh, I actually, I believe this is the 4K from uh, Dollar General that was picked up. Uh, we are hostiles. I believe that's where I got that one. So that was the two that were he found that I found as well. Uh, Disney's Lion Guard Unleash the Power. Yeah. Alfred Hitchcock Rear Window Collector's Edition. I think it's just one. Yeah, it's just one disc. Uh, Disney's Hercules, the gold collection, so the original DVD releases. Well, I, found, I couldn't believe when I found this. The disc, not one scratch on it. Perfect condition. Another one from Disney, Schoolhouse Rock, 30th anniversary, I like that shiny. So this makes the second Schoolhouse Rock one that I have. In the Name of the Rose, Sean Connery. A double one here, which I'm actually surprised I don't... I didn't have either of these films. Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison. 
Another Disney one, The Great Mouse Detective with the slip. The first Kings of Comedy collection. Uh, side splitting scenes from Silver Screen Stan Laurel, Oliver Hardy, Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, Carol Lombard, John Harlow, Will Rogers, Charlie Chase, and Harry Langdon. Very interesting one. I haven't watched this yet. But, uh,. Looking forward to checking this one out. Then I got the four film collection of Police Academy. So it's one, two, three, and four. Save me some space. And I got the Cary Grant collection, Operation Petticoat. And the complete first season of Agent Carter on DVD. Let's see how far we've been getting. 15 minutes. Uh, go from there. Uh, the Passion of the Christ. The People versus O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. With the slip. Source code was a slip. Beastmaster. Yeah, from Anchor Bay. So yeah, that Terminator one was an Anchor Bay one, I believe. I knew I'd have something popping up with that on there. Def Leppard, Rock of Ages, DVD collection. It has 19 tracks with uh, bonus material, No Matter What, Rehearsal, 2005, Band Commentary, Personal Playlist, DTS 5.1, Dolby 5.1, Dolby Stereo. You can even see what the playlist is. Very small print. Uh, Beaches, this was brand new sealed. Something I did not have in the collection, so I'm glad to at least find it. Especially at new. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Special Edition. It's a two disc set and a slip. Let's see. Let me pop that out quick. Booklet, one flipper disc, one picture disc. But like the uh, book style there. And the nice fat cases. Back in the day when they were doing the doubles in the fat case, is glory. And here, I didn't respond fast enough for the Disney Movie Club, so they sent me Elemental in 4K, which is fine. I like the movie. I was going to pick it up anyway, but I, I like to decide whether I want Blu-ray or 4K. I hate the fact that they are just pushing the 4Ks, because I still can't watch any 4K, so i got to have the Blu-ray. Now, this next... Ah. pile here is all from Hamilton Book uh, the complete film collection of Inner Sanctum Mysteries it's a Mill Creek release um, but the cover on the website looks like this so I was curious if it came with the, the slip and like I said I like these side slips a lot more than I do the top slip. 
But there are six films. Calling Dr. Death, Weird Woman, Dead Man's Eyes, The Frozen Ghost, Strange Confession, Pillow of Death. All starring Lon Chaney Jr. I picked up Batman Hush with the figure limited edition gift i think this was around 10 maybe or six i think it might have been about six seven dollars actually but uh the blu-ray has a uh, individual slip which would be perfect for the shelf and i picked up wonder woman 1984 in 3d Aquaman in 3D. That one came with the slip. Uh, Robert Kirkman's Secret History of Comics. I'm really interested in checking that out for the comics. Really kind of a lot of glare, reflectiveness. But I mean, I basically got because it's got some good people. I, the, Prior to Stan Lee's passing, uh, Kevin Smith, J.K. Simmons, a few other people. And I picked up the 4K limited edition steelbook of Us. I think this was about 10. So I didn't have this one yet. Um, and I have Get Out. And I just need to pick up uh, the other. Nope is the last one of... Uh, his collection I need to get. There's a nice still book with the scissors on there. Midnight Movies double feature, Gorilla at Large, and Mystery on Monster Island. I have watched uh, Gorilla at Large. This was this was a good uh, with uh, Raymond Burr in there. And the last one I got from Hamilton book was J.R. Tolkien and the Hobbit series. Documentary Exploring Literary Genius. I have to always keep adding to my token. Uh, about 25 minutes. Alright. I will call it a stop there and do the rest as another video so we don't go too far. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.